This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. We are cracking on with our six day war campaign, which is really, really cool. It's going to be our fourth mission, if you like. Let's pass it over to the boys for today's briefing. Mission four of the six day war campaign. Today we'll be playing primarily as the Israelis and there will also be some Syrian Red 4 players. Uh, the overview for today is that uh, there is a imminent attack by Syrian ground forces from the Golan Heights, which is that north, that bit where Syria and Israel join on the first slide in the top, um, on the town of Dan and the town of Shia Yashuv. Um, also in the south of the map near the Sea of Galilee, we have Jordanian army units firing artillery into civ uh, Israeli civilian targets. So we'll have to deal with them. Um, and we'll also be assault, uh, carrying out airstrikes on defensive positions in the Golan Heights uh, in preparation for the Israeli Defense Force uh, assault on the Golan Heights. On to slide two. The mission is, as I mentioned before, to repel the assault on Dan and Shia Yashuv. Um, to soften up key breach points on the Golan Heights for the ground offensive in the next coming days and to neutralize the Jordanian forces attacking the civilian targets in the south. Threats on slide three are going to be primarily AAA uh, based around the Golan Heights defense positions uh, embedded AAA in the assault force at Dan and Shia Yashuv um, and probably AAA in the Jordanian artillery regiments uh, to the south. Uh, Syria, although we have smashed a lot of their air bases in the south of Syria, there will be, uh, will likely be MiGs um, coming in for hit and run attacks from northern Syria. Um, and the strikes to the north of Israel are outside of the Hawk Samnet, so we are having a cap uh, presence to defend the fighters up there. Slide four um, is the execution. So we're going to have eight ships of F5 to to uh, repel the attack at the at Dan. Um, and the idea is that we trap the assault force in between two bridges on a road and then use then the F5s come back round um, and clean up the ground forces while they're trapped. Uh, the F5s will be armed with five snake eyes and rocket pods. Uh, the snake eyes will be for taking out the bridges and the rocket pods will be for any remaining snake eyes can be used on the ground targets and the rocket pods will be used primarily for taking out the ground targets. Um, we'll also have a four ship of F-86s and they'll be doing multiple dive passes on the armour and artillery in the south, uh, which is the Jordanian artillery regiments. Um, they will be armed with rockets. Um, they also have their gun, obviously. And they'll also be taking out targets in the Golan which we'll see on the map later. So there are designated areas of the Golan that will be attacking. Uh, the, the fighter escort will be standard kind of bags and uh, missiles and your interfright frequencies. So that's between flights for the various targets are displayed there. So Dan and Shia Yeshuv are on 225 megahertz and Golan are on 230 megahertz. Moving on to slide the next slide, the weather slide. So we've got no clouds again. The weather's still pretty good. Unlimited visibility. There is a 12 knot wind in a, to the south. Um, the temperature is 20 degrees with a QNH of 29.92 inches of mercury. And we have contrails between flight levels 250 and 320. The next slide shows an overview of what everyone's doing. So we have alpha. Uh, and Bravo will be the escort slash cap flights protecting various parts. So we've got Dan, we've got four F5s protecting Dan and Shia Yashuv. Um, so they'll be protecting cap there. And you've got Bravo defending the Golan strikes. Um, and that's where they are. They're all taking off from Ramat David, all the F5s. Um, Echo and Foxtrot are the strike packages for the Dan attack on the escort, on the convoy even. Um, so their targets are the east and west bridges to produce the kill box, uh, to take out the BRDMs because they're going to be pretty tough, um, and any unarmed trucks that are in that convoy carrying the assault force. Uh, also taking off from Ramat David, we have the F-86s, Charlie and Delta flight. Uh, they are attacking the Golan Heights. Uh, they're attacking Camp 4 and Camp 5, and they're also going to attack the barracks at Jenin 
on their way out. And then finally, we have the Rotary. So that's all your helicopter boys in Golf Hotel and Mike. They're taking off from the airfield at Kiryat Shimona, which is about two miles from Dan and Yeshiv. Um, they will have a mixture of FAC A uh, for picking out targets of for the um, F-86s at the Golan Heights. That's a bit further away, so you'll have to get some transition time in there. Um, and the hotel and mic ones will be smoking the bridges for the F-5s, providing uh, FAC A for the uh, F-5s if the vehicles start trying to escape or hiding in trees and such with smoke. Uh, they also have a mission of transporting troops and cargo to Dan and uh, Yashiv <clears throat> in case the convoy breaks through our trap. So, so I may, Atomic, uh, a note about uh, knee boards. Um, obviously, the F-5s, we've got several routes. So if you're driving an F-5, um, just make a note of which knee board maps you need to be looking out for. Uh, so our flight cap, Bravo flight, Gold 360, Echo and Foxtrot is Dan 360. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So everyone's got that. That's all very important information. Um, all fixed wings aircraft are taking off from Ramat David, which is in that picture, I think, in the middle there. Um, Dan, they're heading to head to Dan. So that's... Uh, Echo and Foxtrot and Bravo and Alpha, so that's all the F5s. You'll be taking off to the northwest uh, via the Haifa docks to your targets. Alpha will be taking off on runway 27. Echo and Foxtrot will be using runway 33. The Golan Height attack, so that's your F86s and one flight of F5s, are heading south to a high rise buildings at Um Al Fam Town. Uh, Bravo is using runway 27, the same as Alpha, and Charlie and Delta are using runway 29. I'll now hand you over to Ali, I think. Okay, gotcha. so I'm going to cover the uh, the Dan bridges, which is uh, two bridges, one to the west, one to the east. If we go on to um, um, slide number nine, okay, there's a picture of rough location. We're coming from the north um, east, um, heading uh, down the ridge from the top of the plateau down the valley and these bridges are in the west of the valley. So basically the numbers one and three are gonna go for the west bridge and the numbers two and four are gonna go for the east bridge. These bridges will be smoked by the helicopter guys to make them easily identifiable and we're doing a dive attack on the actual bridges. So basically uh, we're gonna try and uh, trap both, uh, destroy both these bridges, trap a convoy inside. The, um, the helicopter will tell us how we're getting on and it will tell us whether we've actually destroyed the bridges. So once that happens, we can then move on and attack the actual vehicles in the, the convoy. Okay, basically to get the separation over the target, one and two, as long as you're five seconds behind each other and you don't carry on and fly over the other bridge, you're gonna be clear. And the three and fours need to just uh, uh, d delay about 20 seconds behind. So you've got some uh, spacing. So slide 10. This is the actual uh, route. So basically we're gonna get airborne from um, uh, runway 33, this is the uh, uh, Echo and Foxtrot from runway 33 at um, Ramat, David. And we're basically going pretty much straight ahead over to Haifa. We've got the ridge now left hand side and we're starting in uh, the route in Haifa docks. So from that start point, that's the hack point in the Haifa docks. And from there we go north um, 017 up the coast, fairly straightforward um, uh, to the minute 445, which is a um, little jutting out peninsula with some uh, a bit of a beach resort on there. And we're going to be turning right there, heading over 071. We've got the wind from the south, of course. We've got to keep out of this uh, deconfliction zone. I think here yeah, that's going to be covered by uh, Bendy. We're going to head up there towards the mountains. So basically, as we're going up that heading uh, 071, we'll see big mountain on the right hand side. Valley, big mountain or smaller mountain left hand side. We're heading for the gap in the two, and as we get closer, we'll see this mast. From then, uh, we're doing a right turn into a bit of a saddle in the mountain there to try and the lowest point where we go across uh, gives us a good clear way to go. But we're going to be a bit short of energy up this hill because uh, obviously it's pretty steep and we haven't got much power and we've got an awful lot of weight. So uh, there's going to be a bit of burner going on around this point for the F5s, certainly with all the bombs on. 
the IP from about 11 minutes onwards or 10 minutes 30 onwards, it's really steep downhill and we can see this uh, IP probably from a long way away, so it's pretty flat. Big right hand turn, sorry, that's just a turning point, turning point uh, um, at 1145, that's a mast and there's some lakes there as well. So big right hand turn there onto heading 260-ish and we'll see an IP mast on a little bit of a, a um, um, little hill and there's a, a town just the right hand side. From there it's a heading of 284 for uh, for everybody. Halfway along the IP run there's a, um, there's a lake, it's very difficult to see, but just after that lake you'll see a ridge in front of you. NB that ridge because that'll be when we cover the slides for the uh, target, that'll be the actual action point for the dive profile. So off target. We can re-attack this time, so we, uh, but we'd like a left-hand pattern. And please, it's not a free-for-all because there's still lots of other guys continuing um, along, the, um, um, along the target run. So you do need to go back nearly all the way to the IP. You can probably cut it short a little bit once you hear the other guys have, uh, have passed the IP and on the way to the target. But we, you know, no, probably no closer than the actual lake where, it's, um, where that 9.5 is uh, for the re-attacks. Um, and, and basically get on the same uh, heading uh, as the IP to target run and we'll use the same profile to, uh, to dive, which we'll cover in there shortly. So once we've, uh, we've done enough of that, we've almost run out of fuel. And for the, uh, for the strike guys, uh, 800 pounds bingo one, that is what you need to get home. You'll land with 200 pounds of fuel if you leave there with, uh, with 800 and you are really gentle on the way home. Obviously you need to uh, clear the aircraft of all the, um, the pylons and the empty, uh, empty rocket launchers. Okay, so when we leave the target, I'll head towards um, that little airfield there, which is where the helicopters are operating from. I'll be quite slow to give you a chance to try and catch up. And just after that, I'm going to rehack the clock for the actual navigation uh, route home, down to the Sea of Galilee, right turn straight into um, Ramat. And I'll be coming just a little bit left of track, uh, around about the five and a half minutes to, uh, to make a nice uh, approach into uh, Ramat. So uh, what you'll notice is a very uh, important note for the guys in helicopters and the guys in F5s doing the attack. Um, the little blue um, circle there uh, at the end of the uh, turn after the target, that's the uh, helicopter um, base of Kiryat. Um, so there will be helicopters operating in between uh, the, the base there and the target route. So for deconfliction, we need to make sure that helicopters do not exceed height of 300 foot uh, above ground level when flying, when operating in between uh, the base and the target. And F5s on the rear tack, if we can make sure that you are um, on the downwind leg, turning and on the downwind leg after the attack, um, that you maintain at least 600 feet um, above ground level uh, to avoid collision. Okay, slide 11. As I said, we can re-attack. We, theoretically, we've got air superiority. Um, we're going to talk with the uh, rotary units on 225, which is our intra um, or, the go, or the Dan Bridges uh, frequency. They'll be watching all our passes. They'll be telling us what's going on, what we've hit, where targets are that we need to still take down. OK, so as that's the case, please, everybody try and use this um, uh, racetrack as a proper um, 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 circuit. So we're going to call downwind. We're going to call turning base and we're going to call in hot. And once we call in hot, hopefully you'll be given an indication of what there is and where it is to attack. Okay, exclusion zone. I think uh, uh, Bendy said he was going to cover that one shortly. But as you can see, there are areas on the map with exclusion zones. You don't want to go in there. So um, exclusion zone, um, I said I was going to talk about. So there is uh, two zones on the map, and this will be true for the... Um, uh, for the uh, Golan Heights route as well. Um, there's a couple of areas where we can't be sure that um, we've completely cleared out the, um, the uh, anti-air um, you know, defences. So uh, basically, we're asked that you don't fly into these exclusion zones. Um, if you manage to wander off track and you get lost, then you will be advised that you're entering one of these zones and, and to turn around. So uh, try and stay on, on track as much as possible. Uh, and if you do get a warning, then obviously make sure you exit the area because you might be shot down. OK, we're now into slide 12, which is the uh, dive profile. So as I said, on the IP to target run, we come to that uh, little lake. We'll see a picture shortly. Uh, just shortly after the lake, there's a big ridge. As we Just as we approach the ridge, you want full uh, burner. Turn right 15 degrees. Pause. Pitch up 25 degrees. 
And uh, if you're going for the West Bridge, which is the number one and the number three, you want to go to 5,600 feet, then roll left, look for the target. If you're going for the Dan Bridges East, which is number two and number four, pitch up to 5,000 feet, roll left and, uh, and down for the target. Obviously, once you start going down the hill, you can uh, reduce the throttle out of burner back to sort of a mid power setting. For the actual um, initial attack, we're going to use the um, um, snake eyes. So five snake eyes on the center line pylon are going to go in the first um, uh, attack. So I'll talk about the switches uh, in a second. And the mills for that, we need 120 mills. So once you're, uh, you're actually downwind in the, uh, in the pattern to do your re-attack, you do need to do some uh, switchery. I suggest everybody switches every pylon on on the F5 on the ground before we go. Then all you need to do to go to rockets is rotary knob to rockets, dispense, and then hit the mills up to 25 mils, and you're good to go to fire rockets. You don't need to switch pylons on or anything like that. So that makes it fairly straightforward if we do that. And then it's the same as before um, uh, when you in your dive profile as you roll, roll at the top. Put the pepper below the target. Slowly, um, slowly pull um, uh, the pepper up to the uh, target. Right. The big difference today that we haven't really seen so far is crosswind. The uh, the attack heading is pretty much one. Uh, sorry, two eight zero. The wind's pretty much from one eight zero. So it's it's pretty much a beam wind, ninety degrees to us. Ten knots of wind is approximately fifty or sixty foot of drift on a uh, Mark um, eighty two Snake Eye. So I imagine at that altitude we're at, we could be having 13, 14 knots of wind. So you must anticipate 75 knots of drift on the bomb to the right. So what that means is, think about the width of the bridge. Let's say the bridge is 60, 70 feet wide. We need to aim left of the bridge, one bridge width. Okay, it's really important that to, you've got to aim upwind, otherwise you will, the bombs will drift downwind. So everybody MB that one. Okay. Okay, here's uh, the next slide, which is uh, slide 13. So for the uh, dam bridges, this is the initial point. There's the uh, the mast and the town slightly to the right-hand side. The next slide just gives a, an overview of the dam bridges we're, as we're coming from the bottom right of the slide. On slide 15, Golan Heights. Okay, this is targets four and five and the Genin Barracks. Uh, initially, they're going to use target four, and then you're going to go dive onto target five, and then the gen barracks on the way home if you've got the fuel um, uh, uh, to do it and, this, and any weapons left. So I'm now on slide 16. Okay, so basically the lower head is 16 lots of Hover 2. Uh, you've got a couple of GAR-8 fantastic air-to-air -air missiles. Uh -huh. And uh, your uh, profile is a 25-degree dive, and uh, 5,600 is your uh, role in um, height. Okay, so the Golan Heights, as we'll see a picture in a second, there's enemy encampments are positioned and scattered on the heights, and there's APCs, AAA, and uh, outpost structures. Target two um, is, um, the target is the two most southern camps. So there's more camps to the north, but we're not going to attack them. We're just going to go for that uh, uh, breach a hole for the, uh, for the troops in the southern bit. Okay, and on the Jenin uh, target, those are the guys that are uh, shelling our troops, and there's infantry encampment at the town uh, of Jenin. Okay, now slide 17. So your route, it might look a little complex, this, but we st you start at Ramat, okay? And from Ramat, you're, uh, you turn left, head towards um, that town, um, which is um, just to the south uh, west of Megiddo. And that's where the hack starts, and that's also where your route finishes, and that's why it looks a little, a little confusing. But in any case, your initial heading 227 down to, um, uh, to the airfield there, round the corner, and then we pick up the old, um, um, at the eight minute mark, up the valley, which we're all used to, past the reservoir. At the end of the reservoir, we turn left onto north, 002. Up the right hand side of all the towns at minute 1314, heading towards the um, um, IP, which is this um, um, lake and mast, minute 1510. So uh, I think once you uh, get a, get into your flights, Artie will tell you exactly how you once you do uh, attack this. But there's two headings. So the Golan 4 target is obviously the heading 296, and the Golan 5 target is 286. But I th I'm not sh quite sure which way around he's going to do it. But here, listen to him, and he'll, uh, he'll brief you. Again, you've got uh, two or three attacks, so be sparing with the use of your rockets, not all in one go. 
And now uh, when you're all done uh, and you've still got fuel, you can then head for the um, uh, southern end of the um, um, Sea of Galilee. And uh, that's where your rehack is. So from that uh, heading, it's 227 down towards, um, well, past this uh, big town and some lakes. And there's a ridge line you climb up. The IP is on the top of a ridge. And there's your uh, attack run to, uh, to the Jenin barracks. We've got some pictures coming up now. Okay, we can re-attack, as I said, when you're coordinating with your rotary on 230. And again, please tall, call the IP to target run the downwind. It says maximum of three passes. Well, whatever you've got fuel for and rockets for. But uh, uh, any more than that, you could get into severe trouble. And again, we've talked about the re-attack point. Bendy has covered rear exclusion zones. It's no different uh, down here as it is up north. So if you, uh, if you go in there, beware. So this is the basic route that you're doing in. You can see down the valley around to get to the IP. The two runs to the action points, which I'll show you a picture, and, uh, and then the dive attacks and the left rear attack downwind pattern. Here's the actual action point. So you can see if you're going to camp four, you want to be pretty much on the edge of the lake. If you're going to camp five, you want to be going all through the middle of the lake. And OK, here's a picture of, um, of uh, target five, which is uh, tense and everything. And if you look on there, uh, on the edge of the road, there's a lineup. It looks like of armored vehicles of some kind there. Tanks, possibly not too sure. RT knows more about that. And uh, back to Jenin, this is the actual on the top of the ridge, your action point for your dive attack on the target ahead. So that's me done for um, Golan, and it's uh, Bendy to finish with the helicopter. Okay, so um, we've got a few objectives here. If you go on to the next slide, please. Um, the first, the primary objective um, is to is to mark the target. So um, mark the two bridges. There are obviously, as we saw above, there are the east and the west bridge. Um, so we will need one helicopter for each. Uh, there is some uh, BRDM vehicles we suspect, um, not too many. So watch out for the, for them. But if uh, if we smoke them from far enough, we should be okay. Um, the second objective is to provide forward air control. Now uh, we don't have any gazelles flying, so Golf Flight will will not run uh, today. Um, so the Golden Heights guys, you're on your own, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, for the uh, Dan guys, um, I will be providing forward air control, uh, calling out, um, you know, if we've hit the bridges or, or uh, where the vehicles are going, um, if they if they end up splitting. Um, primarily, um, we want the the F5s to take out the bridges, but then also try and take out any of the uh, uh, any of the um, uh, vehicles that might be shooting uh, at uh, at us, and then if necessary, as helicopters, if the F5 don't quite finish off the trucks, we can we can possibly uh, clean those out. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, finally, for the helicopters, um, there is some uh, reinforcements that we need to provide to the two towns of Dan and Shia. Um, there are actually uh, a number of uh, troops uh, waiting to be deployed, so 80 uh, Israeli troops, uh, and there need to be five sections brought to each of the two towns. And there's also um, some... Uh, uh, obviously uh, munitions as well that they need to, uh, to be taken with them so for each one we've got an ammo crate uh, a cargo net and a container that needs to be delivered to each of the towns um, you will have a uh, this map in your in your nibble packs but uh, there are some vehicles already on site um, and they will uh, pop smoke when when you're getting in the vicinity so uh, green smoke for the town of dan and blue smoke for the town of shia um, please do make a note of uh, where the troops are going when you pick them up, um, else they will try to walk to the, to the wrong town. So if you're picking up down troops, please make sure you do drop them in down. Question one. I've heard nothing about uh, TOT. Is this not TOT? Uh, yes, this is TOT. You will be receiving a, a roll time and a hack time. Um, uh, so the TOT is for the first pass, and then obviously yep. any re-attacks are um, you know, as, as they come. Roger. That's that. Next. We've got a really useful function we discovered on mission three, which was in our F10 menu. We have a timer and a hack function. If anyone wasn't here last mission, make sure you inquire about that because it's really useful. It's basically a stopwatch for your thing. Can that uh, do rehack? Because we've got rehack for the first time today. So, um, so yes, that that function is available again in this mission. Um, you can rehack it. So the way that you rehack the the watch would be to. 
um, select the, the F2 option again. So I think it cycles through. Uh, the first time you select it, it will start the watch. The second time, I think it will uh, reset it. And then the third time, it will it will rehack it. Brilliant. No, next question. Uh, I've briefly heard uh, milliradian settings for F5. Have we got 120 for bombs, 25 for rockets? Correct. Uh, and last question, just to make sure, uh, in fact, sorry, second to last question, wind corrections for the bridges. Um, Ali was talking about uh, compensating left of the bridges. Is that bearing in mind our aspect of, our, of travel based on our attack um, race course um, direction? Exactly. So I'm assuming everybody's going to be attacking on roughly a 27280 mm -hmm. heading, which is what the racetrack is. And from that on that heading, it's a beam wind. And remember, 10 knots is about 50 feet on a bomb. And there's more than 10 knots of wind there. Roger, last question before I hand it over to the boys. This is by far our most complex and uh, interesting and varied uh, mission so far with amount of waypoints, turn points with hack and with rehacks with uh, attack downwinds uh, how close is this to something the real RAF would run historically in complexity and realism you've yeah seen, you did. you've seen um, um, Mr Nichols and Mr Repeat's, uh, route map and uh, it's very complex there map yeah god we'll go over that in a second okay guys that's my questions any more technical questions before we look at today's flights uh, where's the cap uh, area for Bravo flight? I know Gull, but yeah, what direction? Basically, you want to get to the IP, and you want your threat direction is from about um, two 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 zero. So you want to be uh, pointing, you know, something like zero six zero, something like that will be a good heading. Okay, guys, we're going to pay a special attention to the roster, 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 because it's uh, one it's two days before a major DCS update, and so a lot of our guys have had to run to testing. So we've changed stuff around. So, Blue 4, Cap, Tigers, Alpha Flight, led by Skill, Space Chef, Grump, Apollo, Bravo, led by Tail, Francis, Atomic, Elo, F86, Sabre, Cass, uh, Charlie, led by Artie, if he can get his comms working, fingers crossed, taking Hasinum and Tanky. Uh, Cass, Tigers, F5, uh, F5, Echo, Ali B, uh, Real Tornado Pilot, leading us, Cap. Uh, oh, Tim, you're with us today. That's a nice treat. Uh, another Tornado Pilot. Uh, yeah, I'm here somewhere. We've got all the, all the pros with me today. Scary. Uh, and Shady. Uh, Foxtrot, led by Chopsticks, Bean, P-Drop, and Whistler. Um, uh, we've got Choppers. And I'm trying to work this out as I go. Uh, hotel flight in aircraft of oh Hueys, Bendy, Blight, Veyron and Tuxor, MI8, Seahorse and Brinks, uh, S the uh, Gazelle is blank and let's trip over to Red for quickly. We've got baddies today, uh, going to be intercept in the MiG-21, led by Kingston, who you're so evil, uh, Penguin, Jigsaw, Starscream, Nightmare. And Redo, and just to whet your appetite a bit, what we were talking about, we're we're conf trying to um, convert another. Uh, we've got a Tornado F3 pilot who's interested now, and we're retraining him for DCS at the moment, which is awesome. And we're trying to get John Nickel interested as well, and we're trying to get some of his old missions that we can actually rerun declassified ones. I think it's going to be really interesting. Guys, is there any questions about this organisation layout and whatnot? Roger, Echo Two Cap is ready to receive instructions for bomb setup. Starting on the left hand side, just be underneath the undercarriage lever where it says interval. If you set that to switch down to 0.14, if you go right to where it says bombs arm, could you arm them nose and tail, which is a switch to the right? The protected guarded switch with the Charlie red guard. Flight, hotel guard flight. Uh, what's your status? Guns and missiles switch. Charlie it's Flight, the ready to receive roll time. Then the rotary three external stores. Yeah. To ripple. Uh, Delta flight. Uh, go down, down below that. On. What's your uh, status? The right pylon, um, every pylon switch up. We don't have that. So that when we switch to rockets, all we do is change the rotary switch and the head up display. Okay, so as long as you've got ripple, uh, the, one, the, the, one. the rockets won't fire. Uh, okay, status. are you ready for the head up display? Echo 2 ready. Okay, on the head up display, where it says mode, click. 
click that till it goes to manual. Then on the right hand side where it says reticule depression, wind that till it says 120. Tail, close check. Echo 2 complete. Okay, and don't forget auto balance on the fuel cap. Copy. So, we haven't got our times yet, but we'll, uh, we'll taxi out to the runway, okay? So follow me, guys. Two rolling. Bravo flight, are you ready to receive roll and hack time? Charlie flight, ready to receive roll and hack time. Charlie 1, Hotel 1. Charlie 1, receiving. Charlie 1, your roll time is 081510. Your hack time is 081800. Charlie flight, roll time 081510. Sorry, say again. Roll time is 081510. Your hack time is 081800. Charlie flight received. Bravo 1, this is Hotel 1. Hotel 1, go ahead. Bravo 1, your roll time is 081600. Your hack time is 081900. From Bravo 1, can you repeat last call? Hey friend, your uh, roll time, Bravo, Bravo flight, your roll time is 081610. Your hack time is 08. One nine decimal zero zero. Echo one, hotel one. Um, are you ready for a roll and hack time? Go ahead. Go ahead. Echo one, roll time zero eight one eight decimal three zero. Hack time zero eight two one decimal five zero. Okay, echo flight is cleared. Roll zero eight one eight decimal uh, three zero. Hack time zero eight two one decimal five zero. Go ahead. Uh, Alpha. Okay, call copy. Three, that's four minutes. Uh, Alpha one, hotel one. Call fast copy. Alpha one, your roll time is zero eight two zero zero decimal three zero. Your hack time is zero eight two three decimal five zero. Roger, that's all copy. Roll time zero eight two zero three zero. And hack time zero eight two three five zero. And uh, Foxtrot flight um, are you on comms for uh, GCI. Charlie flight rolling. Foxtrot 1, your roll time is 0819.30. Your hack time is 0822.50. Roll time at 0819.30. Hack time at 0822.50. Okay, okay Echo Flight, stand by. We'll be spooling up in 10-15 uh, seconds and uh, I'll be doing a 3-2-1 roll, okay? Um, but I'll be like 10 seconds behind you, yeah? Yeah, make it, make it about 5 seconds. Just see how Cap, let Cap, Cap get moving and then sit, you know, just stay behind him. Right, that, no Because there's not much, there's no way to, uh, there's no turns to uh, catch up here.
but I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be going burners to 250 knots. Okay, that's speed up. Oh, super gap, don't fuck this up. Okay, echo lead, rolling, rolling, go. Echo 2 rolling now. Come on you big bitch, up you go. Me on this drop six. Hello. F10 menu, other timer. That gives you a digital clock. Gotcha. Two minutes to hack. That's copy, Cap. It's actually 140. Top shot flash roll then. Three and four, you up okay? Yeah, we're up. Yeah, they called that one. Basically, if you can't catch us, catch us when we turn right at the uh, the docks. Uh, yeah, I did do this for 20 years. Lols. I spent my life saying geometry, not speed, geometry, not speed. Brilliant. Okay, for us, Echo Flight, the first heading, then it's 017, it's a tailwind. Uh, about 10 or 15 knots, so we, uh, we'll plan at 360, we'll fly at uh, 350, and there's no drift. Three. One minute to the hack. Ben, 
I'm going to take a little bit early, so I'm starting a slow turn now. Hack in uh, 25 seconds. Two hacked. Three. Okay, everybody got a clock running? Three. Okay, post hat check. We're uh, heading the flying 015, uh, uh, which is a little bit to the left of track. That's not a problem. I'm just going to avoid that headland. I'm flying at 350 knots. We're, uh, we're a little bit early, but we've got a tailwind and we'll just slowly lose the speed so we don't have to fly too quick. Roger, two's hack bugged, so I'm going to be relying on yours, but it doesn't really matter. See, Tim, I shouldn't fly along the coast, but uh, hey-ho, there's no birds today. Leeds, can you remind me of today's wind and direction? Okay, it's the wind is 180, which is right behind us, and it's about 15 knots. That's why we're flying at 350, just uh, and there's no drift. Copy. So rather than go over this little ridge ahead, I'm just going to go around it. So uh, we're we're just drifting a little bit left of track. Where's our next VFR marker for our time check? Okay, 4 minutes 55, we have, um, there's a little um, peninsula yes, sticking out of the two, coast two, and two, there's two, some two, buildings, uh, it's a beach resort on it and we're going to go, uh, that's it, at 4 minutes 55, next event. Roger. Okay, 4 minutes 45. Shit. Fucking hell. What a dangerous job this is. I don't know what's happened, my clock's restarted and stopped. Same here, um, I'm wondering what a solution might be. Okay. Um, well, don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll just use the, the real time. It was 20, um, 21.50, we'll call it 22, so the moment with 2 minutes and 3 seconds, okay? Yeah. Well done, I don't know how you're going to do this when the times get harder, but well done. Yeah, well, I'll be alright, I should be alright. Pritch. Sorry, a bit slow there, I'm speeding up now. Pritch, can you start a timer, because our timers have just bugged. Or someone start a timer on the stream. Because this is going to be impossible. All we need is literally a stopwatch starting now. So I'm looking uh, for the time to be uh, 26.45 at the turn point. I don't know how he does I'll that. Me take. Right, I'll So we're in a mission with a massive so, crosswind. Uh, made a slight navigational error. We are heading straight towards IP point. Oops, bad tail. We've got a massively complex trail. We've got to be perfectly on time. All of that, and our fucking clocks just stopped. Pritch, is it possible for you to backtrack that time, start that timer at a certain time? Like, start it at four minutes? Fuck no, there's a stream delay. Urgh! Fuck. Echo 1, Echo 1. 
Say that again, three. Real time was 4.30, you're 15 early. Uh, what I've done is I've just, uh, I've just ignored the uh, 10 seconds, uh, up, uh, you know, to make it a bit easier. Yeah, 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 so one time, we're doing alright. Well, there four is in front of me. That's bridge. Is he? Don't worry about it. Pylons. Okay, post tack. We're on a heading 070. Big picture head navigation. Big mountain uh, just look to the right. Smaller mountain to the left. Valley in the middle. We're aiming for the valley. And we've got fuel to worry about as well, because we apparently we only have 200 pounds in loo. Which is ridiculously low. Otherwise, things are just dandly. Oh, and we've got Kingston and his mates hunting us. Which pylons do we put back down to use rockets? Okay, when you're going to use, no, you don't have to switch any pylons. Just ignore the pylons as long as every pylon is on. Just load it. All you got to do is turn the rotary switch to rockets, and you go to rockets. Simple as that. And okay. obviously 25 mils in the hood. Seven. I don't yeah, know how they're doing this. I don't know how they're doing this. It's a little bit of burner. Right, just follow them and try not to embarrass yourself, Supercap. We'll have a quick look in the valley down here, Cap.
Did you guys ever have to worry about over Ging your stores when you were doing this low terrain shit? Yeah. Yeah, because you couldn't pull the G too heavy. Which is why it wasn't valid. I'll drop. Right points on the nose. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go down the valley here. Echo one hotel one, um, convoy is clear bridge. That's uh, copy, thanks. We're uh, just coming up to minute eight. Save the fuel, save the fuel, save the fuel. Okay, we need to be the break at the uh, mass of 40 seconds. Roger. Come on, light, light, light. It's 8.30 now. Yep. Heading it's a one two zero. We've got um, a boom wind, so we'll make it one two two and uh, three sixty. We plan. We've got a fair bit of ISTS, but we've got a big hill to climb, so I'm going to burn it out to get up the hill. Okay, we're about ten seconds early. Roger that. Easily lost up this hill. Who's going for which bridge? Turn right. Yeah. We're going for the near bridge. bridge. I'm, I'm going for the far bridge. Okay, yeah. I'm now in your far bridge. Uh, that's right. Okay, you see the um, the black shapes in the water in front? Yeah, three there. Well, right. I don't see bloody shit. What am I aiming for? Echo One Hotel One West Bridge is uh, dead in between two lots of smoke. That's covered. Thanks. Okay, we're about on hack on that. Nails 21, uh, 9 o'clock. Pretty seen. Okay, 
Okay, next heading then is um, uh, 260. I see it. Around the corner, I think we'll see the, uh, we'll see the ID. Alpha flight, all flights, we have nails, 21, uh, approximately 090 from target area. That kind of bar, yep. on our six. Yeah, we'll come around to the left hand turn. It must be close to change aspect or to change angles that quick. Charlie, yeah, it might behind us. And let's go combat stretch on. Two spacing away from lead. Copy. Roger. Right behind us, right behind us. Visual range, visual range. This is out. Look out, look out, look out. I think we're about 10 seconds early. Four twenty knots. Okay, yeah, uh, that's about eight seconds early. Four, you got two on you. We're merged. Package. This is Hotel One. The convoy is at far west. Um, in heart, 45 seconds. Ben, we should be Check six. There's one behind somebody. He's fine. Fox 2. I've got a Mingle 21 off my nose. Try to catch up with him. He's climbing. Good 25 degrees pull up. Oh, 50, 5,000 feet for you, Cap. Trim. I lost an engine, I lost a fucking engine. So Who's your smoke? Who's your fucking smoke? Who's the fucking smoke? So much fucking smoke, I'll see the bridge. 
Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, chill. On the chill, oh, chill. Really one engine's dead. One engine's going. FJP's got engine failure. Cap engine failure, one engine failure, I can still fly. Miss, 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 Stop cap going in. in between the two hatches of white smoke. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Convoy either side of the road towards East Bridge. Approximately 300. Get some motherfucker! Cap bombs out! Fuck, I blew myself up! Did I get the bridge? Four bombs out. Bridge. FJP engine failure, check into the door of the target site. Grub Fox 2. Grub Splash! Fuck yeah. Hits! Fuck, 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 concentrate, concentrate. Come on. I'm good. First bombs, 10 minutes south, second bombs, 30 minutes north. So, how about the uh, West Bridge bending? I don't see the bombs on this bridge. We missed the orange bridge. We missed the orange bridge. Okay. Yeah, I think you were chasing the same one that I was after. I just overshot. Is that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're two after the same one. He's not down yet. No, I'm behind him again. Roger, roger. All right, we're merged with three F5s right now. There's three F5s in uh, formation right now. Just look out. Cuff back on line. No, it's not. Heading behind him. Who's down one engine? Okay, looks like uh, four or five of the crew are fighting engaging enemy batteries. Cap down wind. Half a fighter already engaged. I'll be turning in down to the mast. What's your fuel cap? Stand by. Right tank is empty oh, due to triple A fire. Right left tank, 1400 pounds. Okay, you need about 8 to 900 pounds to get over. Otherwise, you can divert to that little airfield that the helicopter's using. Just to the um um, just past the target, it's 4,300 feet, so you can get in there just. Okay, I've got play time. Okay. Hey, you motherfuckers. Ali being hot. Bush smoke is gone. Oh, we're smoking. Echo 2 base. Okay, do you, want, um, do you want us to take out West Bridge again? Please. Okay. Negative bridge. I want you to find the baddies for me. Flash right flight running in. Fucking triple A exploding all around me. And I've lost the bad guys. Where the shit is the... Okay, oh, there's... Bridge. There's Ali. Bridge. There's Ali. Got it. Running in. Uh, each bridge is taken 
coming out. Good hits, good hits. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm both bridges taken out now. Negative. Negative. Both bridges are still existing. Fucking eat shit and die. Okay, looks like the uh, convoy has actually stopped. Uh, I advise we go for convoy. A pace. I painted the bridge, but it's technically not down. The is about 300 metres east of West Bridge. OK, and I'll leave. I've got one more pass with the guns, and now I've got to go home. Two the same. So, so make sure, turn short on the downwind this time, because um, yes. there's, no, uh, there's no flight coming in. Shack, six enemy, six enemy units. Okay. I can eat shit and die. Four, is that you behind me? On a base in hot. Two in hot. I'm gonna cut the corner, bollocks to it. I'm gonna stick it around here on my own. Tally. I'm gonna shoot that motherfucker. Okay. We want some. Bendy, which side of the uh, bridge is at uh, the vehicles? The vehicles are about 300 meters east of West Bridge. The side we came from? Covered. Okay. Oh, I've got a fucking. They're just over the bridge line, it's hard to see for you. Get some, baby! I'm out. Four and hot. I missed lighting engine. Was that you, Rockets Alley? Yep, it was. I'm following you. The bridge down. I'm with you now. The bridge down. Okay, right, I'm heading towards uh, uh, an exit egress in. Heading over yes. to 240, okay, and I'm reducing 300 knots. Roger, well done. Could you have any more uh, strikes incoming? Uh, I'm uh, well all done, but uh, chopsticks are still still on uh, on station. Thank you. Chopsticks downwind, turning in for the other bridge. Was that heading two four zero, Ali? Exactly two four zero at the moment. Just fly to the far side of the ridge, the far ridge, and then fly down the ridge line. You should see me. I'm in a general left turn now. Roger. I'm just about half a mile north of the airfield. I've got you now. Okay, roll out there. Roll out there. I've got you. I've got you. Okay, we've got one up in, uh, I don't know, what's that in the one o'clock? Unknown. Okay, so most of the vehicles are just on the east side of the hill that you're passing over. I've just put a break. Come on then, then, Jim. Empty pods, um, empty pods, empty smaller pods. Got Roger. Some fire so you can see the vehicle. What's your speed, Ali? I've got a malfunctioning engine, I can't keep up with you. Okay, right, reducing 300 knots then. Thank you. Sorry, it's just that I was trying to help out Charlie the flight and has some more finished up and attack on Galan, en route for Janine target. Okay, so check your field cap. Stand by. Total in my remaining tank, 1,000. Okay, that's plenty to get home, don't worry. Are you turning left? I'm going nine, 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 no, I'm just flying down this ridge line. Four of which Fuck. Got to be Along the road, all the way down the road. Roger. Right yeah, yeah, visual. I don't know where he's Three gone. Knots. Keep an eye out for me, I may have bypassed you. I think I was following the wrong guy at the end. Yeah, somebody went walking off ahead of me, yeah. Where are all just Where is he, guys? Where is he? Where is he? Strike. you have any more aircraft inbound? Right. A negative for echo. All we're going to do is get to the Sea of Galilee, guys. Find me the Sea of Galilee and we're fine. Okay, just 
cap call when you could see the um, uh, Sea of Galilee? Two. I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, it's right in front of me. Okay, well, you're ahead, you're ahead of me, so just slow down, swing the knots, and I'll, uh, I'll try to catch you. Is there any more okay. targets of opportunity for rockets? Are we out of cap to spare? Hey, Fern, Dan, I've got... Um, Did you get... Uh, um, I've got quite just before the big town on the, on the right hand side of the Sea of Galilee, you can turn on to heading 240. Okay. I've got your visual, and I'll just try and cut the corner a bit. Spread out, walk, thank you. What's your current location? Two flares. Current yeah, position sure. is uh, north of the uh, Galileo Sea. Roger, on route. Okay, keep, uh, keep feet dry, uh, Cap. Okay. I can confirm uh, West Bridge is uh, destroyed. Woo! Great. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm now in your uh, 4 o'clock Cap and I'll be able to take you on the right hand side. Still half a mile away. I'll just settle the 300 now. Yep. Okay, Foxtrot, do you have any more aircraft inbounds? Uh, target the convoy, it's now at the West Bridge. Okay, look in your 3 o'clock. Yep, we're done. Okay, I'm reducing 300 knots, okay? Oh, there's some lag there. Come on, light, 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 light. I don't know, I don't know what's happened, it's... One tank has entered... Okay, flight, Fox, Fox flight, this is Hotel One, do you have any more aircraft inbound to I think out? I've been shot in a one fuel tank, and I've got one engine trying to feed from the other. And, uh, must be a two fuel tank shot. I've done it, I've done it. I've biased the left, and it's still not draining the left. Yeah, it's the same guy, I think. Yeah, I'm directly over the northern end of the Sea of Galilee. One flare out, one position, and one flare out west. Uh, two is 800 pounds. Loads of fuel. Yeah, it's actually on the other cap. I'm 600. Uh, do I have F5 striking blue smoke? Okay, Cap, look, one o'clock, uh, you see the four plumes of smoke? Two. That's the muggy dough. It was destroyed uh, this morning. Two. Charlie one, tack on Janine complete. Recovering to Ramat, runway two nine. Okay, Cap, just land back 250 knots. Ha <laughs> ha, I wanted to talk to him. Right, you know the rule. The bridge. Oh, off the beer, off the fags and off the beer bridge. That sucks. Right, that's RT in front. Approach. So good and good and go. Flop down, flop down, go. Same air approach. You just know it's going to go okay, don't you? Okay, Cap, we've got about 40 degree turn onto the finals there, uh, onto the front, onto the runway heading. Just starting up in now. Sure. Fox Trot 4 declaring a fuel emergency in for Ramat David. Hopefully, I'll make it.
got two down inside. They shut me down as well. Whoops, skinny. Welcome back, boys. Yeah. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. One to the end, then left turn. I see what happened. My tyres are all blown up. They shot my tyres out on my belly. with the MiG-21. Fuck you. That was Kingston. <laughs> Run punching out. That was hilarious. Well, I missed him with the guns, but I uh, I fox forward his plane. How embarrassing for me, guys. Lucky I managed to land that. Well, that was fairly uh, stressful with no clock. Yes, it was. That's, that's going to be one for the record books, boys. Well, we were coming in within 10 seconds, weren't we? I'm just going to pull up here, guys, because I, I can barely taxi. Okay. I think I hit the right bridge. You did. Was that you number four with the canopy open? It's me too. Oh, up on the other end. Okay, so I'm through, yeah. Come on! Can you taxi back or we're staying there? Are you? No, I'll taxi back with you. I'll just wait for you to taxi past me. Draft Master Davis, uh, traffic. Uh, Bravo 1 is uh, declaring emergency, heading in towards uh, runway 27 for landing. Come on, take me off the runway! Top truck flight has someone in on 27 as well, full fair field emergency. Yeah, I would try to be <laughs> Never mind fuel, never mind emergency for uh, uh, Fox uh, landing. <laughs> Charlie run safe on the ground at Ramat. Crossing 27. Can someone get a message to Bean that he's landing on the runway where I'm stricken on? I guess he'll see me. Trying to warn him off. He'll be okay, Cap. He's, uh, he's probably going to land past you. Uh, what's your fuel, Cap? What do you land with? Uh, I am currently at uh, five zero pounds of fuel. Okay, yeah, I managed to land with 400, so thank you. It was leaking out of my tank and I forgot to do shut off my cross fleet, so it's just leaking out of me. Many things happen. At least you got home, you're alive. Drop Matt Davis, traffic, uh, Bravo, uh, Bravo 4, emergency landing, runway 15, immediately. Alright, we'll have a little bit of strike tape and see what happens. Oh, I'm out of gas. It's going to be interesting. Well. Right, can we bin these jets here then, or uh, I'd like to have a look at this tape, shall I? Yeah, if you want to jump, jump out, you're okay. I mean, uh, there might be a bit of action from the fighters, I don't know. They might come over here, I don't know, but we're just going to... we we'll just generally just hang on a bit and to make sure everybody's down before we jump okay. out. Okay. Well, it looks like it's just chopsticks to run. I like the attention. We're over this way, chopsticks. Turn left, turn left now. He'll figure it out, bless him, he'll figure it out. We'll sleep well tonight. I don't want to land on two seven, do I? No, you took off on 3 3, mate. And on the bloody plane, we're all sitting waiting for you. Our leader says, last one in the bar, pays for the drinks. Well, I'm broke, so good luck with that. Oh, for five minutes.
Wow, for me, that was probably the best mission I've ever done. That was friggin' just so sweet. Uh, but let's go through it group by group, shall we? If we start with the first group, I don't have the roster up, so you guys have got to figure it out yourself um, who's going first and just uh, talk us through it. Uh, on Alpha. the Alpha, it's first. Uh, cap flight took off pretty much on bang on time for a lot of takeoff time. Same for the hack, although I think once we got up to the IP that you guys were following, we were getting nails from MIGS, so diverted to go and intercept them. Ended up in a dogfight. Uh, quite laggy. Try to shoot, but it was uh, good fun. And then got two of us got team killed by Francis. So that was... Francis? Okay. Weren't you on a ground attack? Oh, no, I got that completely wrong. No, you probably weren't, were you? Doesn't matter. Can you hear me? Hello, RT. Can we help you at all? Uh, no, that's fine. It's just... Uh... Discord seemed to be misbehaving uh, during my brief. Alpha, how many MiGs did you shoot down at least? Uh, so Gruntmeister has one air-to-air -air kill, and I fox forward into Kingston, so he's probably not going to like that. I'm standing right next to wreckage. All right, so that's two, two MiG, at least two MiGs down. Good. Well, at the end of the day, you, you know, ugly as it was, bearing in mind that Francis isn't a member, so you know, we can't really blame him. Uh, you, you did your job. You, you allowed us to get through, however ugly you did it. And so uh, one way or another, that worked. Uh, next group, please. Yeah, Bravo of Flight. Uh, we had possibly every single possible issue before the mission. Uh, I, as a flight lead, had... Uh, well, uh, I basically spawned in when, uh, when we were supposed to take off. So, yeah, we were off time. And then we had radio come issue. But, uh, yeah, uh, finally, when I think en route, intercepting the mix, um, we had a good fight. Uh, at least one confirmed uh, MiG splash, unknown if certain anymore. We had uh, three MiG-28 splashes as well. Wow. How? MiG-28 splashes? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a big whoops. whoops. <laughs> I'm really? back. Five team kills? Really? Uh, a, a negative. Uh, Francis counted for the three oh, ones. Right, okay. Oh, oh, I, three. Two. I, two. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, got two on the next uh, I I had a one time to desync issue with a wonderful lagging around MIG and my Fox locked onto the non lagging atomic. It really was lagging, wasn't it? I'm not the only one. Nightmare pack off, mission's over. It wasn't even very big either, so it's a bit weird. Okay guys. Um Cap had a bit of a hard time. You know, doing Cap with lag is pretty much impossible, but okay, uh on to the next group please. Charlie Flight. Charlie Flight uh, uh, attacked the Golan 4 and Golan 5 targets with two airframes. Not quite sure what happened to the third airframe. We lost him on the way. Uh, at Golan 4, we destroyed the outpost and the FARP tents and one APC. At Golan 5, we destroyed the outpost and one APC. We then flew on to Janine with the remaining weapons, attacked Janine. Uh, at Janine, we took out the barracks and one APC and one supply truck. And I lost Charlie 2 uh, at some point over Janine, I assume, to AAA. Uh, I then recovered successfully to, undamaged to Ramat. My job, well done. Guys, uh, next group, please. Oh, I'm just watching Francis. Oh, it's just merged on the F5s. It's going to be ugly. Oh, I see you guys were all mixed in, weren't you? Oh, that's ugly. Yeah, it's unfortunate because I was calling out that we were merged with each other to watch the shots. Oh, oh no, that wasn't Francis. That one, that was a team kill. That was ba 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 tails. Oh, well, that probably. was tail on the topic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Um, mission creator yep. too. Ow. You're in the bar books. Mission You're in a creator. chopper next week. Next. <laughs> much time it's on okay, the I got us lost. Next team, please. That's you, Cap. Oh, I'll do ours um, because uh, ours was pr like perfect Hollywood. You couldn't think of a better mission, right? So. We took off. It was myself, uh, Ali, Tim. Sorry, who was number four? Shady. Who? Yeah, Shady. Shady. Right, Shady. 
I find, and we took off. Everything went well until we had covered approximately two miles. When we hacked our watches, and then we got a bug in Bear's lovely little stopwatch routine, which just so the watches just stopped working. So we were halfway through leg one and no way of timing. So somehow, and I don't know how they did it, the two RAF guys just just literally hacked together a way of doing the timing. At which point I was completely lost, and all the wind corrections and everything. And somehow got, I just would have got lost like a grim reaper. But somehow, as you'll see on the movie, they they found a way of doing it, and they got us back on navigation, on time, to the target, dodged between the MIGs, everything was perfect, then we were coming up to the target, I got sh I got my left tank shot out, so I was leaking fuel everywhere, but I could sort of still use an engine. Tim, did you get shot as well? No, what happened was, so my fuel transfer was all whack, and so I ended up in the pull, the target run, but I, I didn't realise my right engine, I just watched the film, for, I've got a film here, it's quite a good film, I sent it to you, Cap, in fact. And um, as I pull, both engines just wind down, basically, wow. because all, all the left low has been selected and the left is, uh, I don't even know what's happened. I'm in full reheat in the pull. That's the thing. So it's exhausted the fuel faster than it can actually flow it from one engine to the other. So um, the whole thing's crazy. So I managed to, I managed to jet some stores, uh, managed to get the left engine back up, I think it was, and then flicked across to the cross feed across to the right, managed to get the right back. But I'm on the way home by them, and like a hero running away. I mm -hmm. leave <laughs> you guys there. But yeah, that kind of sucked. To be fair, wow. So is that a real? Is that a realistic thing? It doesn't really mean. Well, much to me. in a way, it's my kind of fault because I've gone left low on takeoff, like we we do, and for some reason, left low would normally balance, and the switch would normally mm -hmm. go to back to the center, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. But it hasn't. And of course, me trying to keep a tally on you guys, also to keep visual on you guys up mm -hmm. front, mm -hmm. uh, which is obviously difficult on track and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I've obviously neglected to check the fact that the fuels all back. And I did check it once and went fuels good, and it was the wrong way around. So like right was low or something so right it obviously carried on right went down to nothing that left stayed pretty high and then so the right engine started flaming out as soon as i put reheat on in the pull the engine right engine was dead i realized the speed was low uh and then i looked at them both and yeah both engines have failed at oh. about four thousand feet but so you got them restarted yeah, yeah, left yeah. and uh if you're running that low on gas hit the cross feed and then you won't have to worry all right well i had, yeah yeah i had a not dissimilar sort of problem and that, uh, but mine was definitely damaged, and the reason I know is uh, because I, when I got back, I had holes on one of my fuel tanks, and my tires had been shot out. So, so what shot you then? What was it? I don't know. I don't know. But I did hear a do 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 at some point. I remember when I was going over the target, so uh, or ingress into the target, and then suddenly I would just watch the after, one after one, and just go doosh and cut out. Oh, okay. You have to that's, watch that's the movie and, and see. So anyway, well, we yeah. made it back. Four. Heroes. Four. Did you make it back? Yeah, I landed just behind you. Well done. Yeah, so we managed to... We went on our bridges, first of all. We Our main target bridge, we both missed our bombs, me and Ali. And I actually blew myself up with my bombs, but by pure fluke. Oh, that's where the damage came from. Ah, <laughs> all right, I blew my own fuel tank off. Right. Uh, yeah, so I damaged myself, but I obviously survived it, thank God, and, uh, and, and carried on. And uh, then we went around with rockets. Both of us played all our rockets into the bridge, and it survived again. And then we went around for our third and last allowed pass, uh, rockets and gunfire into the bridge, and finally it, it toppled, and we got that bridge done. I don't know how how the other bridge went. We got that, and I managed to capture a, a little tank, not tank, but you know, a little unit as well. Um, and I got seven Ed ground kills, yay, as well. So I'm chuffed about that, and we made it home by the skin of our teeth. So like I said, proper Hollywood stuff. Shady, any exciting bits from you? Went the bridge on the first pass, went round for the second pass, and I think I hit three ground targets. Roger, well done. It's, it's like Ali said, it's that wind, those retarded bombs, the wind just goes, just blows them. It's so hard to bloody uh, uh, compensate. Many back. So for me, just, you know, perfect mission because we just made it by the skin of our teeth and we completed it. So couldn't get much better than that, guys. Um, unless anything else from our guys, next group. Okay. Uh, well, definitely on my first and only takeoff, it was flawless. Uh, we <laughs> had a bit of a few problems, and uh, we ended up being about two minutes behind. And then, because the timer got stuck, we have no idea what time we hit it at. <laughs> we fumbled our way to the target. Some stuff would have been blown up, so we picked a different bridge, and I dropped some bombs on it. I threw some rockets on it. The other guys, one of them got shot down. One ran out of fuel. And I landed with 400 pounds, and it's pretty good. Roger, we can just ignore time on target for this debrief because obviously the timer messed up for everyone. So unless you happen to be flying with two, with like 40 years of RAF experience, you ain't going to do it. 
Um, Charlie was on time. Oh, target. all right, all right, Artie. All right, Artie made it as well. Mention that. Yeah, I was saying that's the difference. A hundred thousand pounds of training makes. <laughs> Lord. Um, and also uh, thirty-three ground kills for me. Thank you. Wow. We had lots of rear attacks, so you know, you got lots of footage there, Cap. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, I can't wait. How did you get You're thirty-three welcome. ground kills, Whistler? I have no idea what I killed. Maybe there was a lot of enemy troops nearby where I dropped my bombs wow. and my rockets. Awesome. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, being off TOT is going to make it so much easier to film because usually we get it perfect and I've got to film 68 attacks within like five seconds. It just doesn't work. Uh, well done. Um, is that next blue four? Helicopters. Yeah, okay. So I think uh, that's the helicopters. Um, so... Yeah, a bit of ad hoc GCI at the start of the mission is always is always a, a good thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had to obviously uh, stand in place for GCI, but uh, I think we all managed to get our times eventually. Um, so I um, had Tuxor and uh, Brinks uh, providing smoke. Uh, orange smoke, dead on target, first time, brilliant. Um, and then I think Tuxor managed second time smoke target was, uh, was, was dead on as well. Um, really good, uh, really good view from the top of the hill. Um, so I can confirm the West Bridge was destroyed. Uh, the East Bridge was not destroyed, but some very, very close shots. Um, and as far as the convoy goes, um, I think the fixed wing probably took out about 10 of the ground vehicles. Um, so we had Brinks come in and mop up and, uh, and, and finish them up and, and actually uh, finish the job. So all of the convoy was destroyed as well. Um, and I think we also managed to deliver probably about half of the troops um, but unfortunately, none of the cargo. Roger, uh, before I go to Red, was there any reason that people know why this one the server lag? It's very hard, unusual for us to get a big server lag like that. You, it might be the smoke. It, will, it was most likely the smoke because if you look at the smoke, there was at least 20 to 30 at one point. And mm. from previous experience, like in a Sunday fun day, the smoke nearly killed the server. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, I, th so, I think I think local it was the rocket, right when we were fighting. The rocket smoke from the uh, attacking aircraft, I think, um, eventually did it. Because uh, I think bridge smoke, we only had, I think, two or three out at a mm. time. But then uh, once the rockets came in, yes, you're right, that was about... That was about yeah, 30. I can confirm what yeah, I bridge, think bridge smoke's only done. one. I think what people have done in the past is they use the JTAC smokes on a trigger. So when you fly over a certain point, it will trigger it, and that doesn't like the service so much. Mm. Maybe that's the thing to um, do. Might be worth it. Yeah, we were that. trying to give the helicopters something to do. Mm. Oh, no, it was great. It, sounds like they had, it was planted like they had a great time, to be fair. So. All right. Well, it's a bit of lag. It, it caused some annoyance, but it didn't. It's not the end of the day, guys. Um, can we have. Um, hel helicopter guys, sorry. Uh, was, there, was there anything else from helicopter guys? I didn't quite manage to get all of you, I don't think. Um, Veyron Blight, Seahorse. No problems. I just took so I'm just saying I, I, I enjoyed myself. Sorry, Cap. Oh, damn it. You know, I hate that. Uh, all right, guys. Red, anything exciting from you guys? Well, we had a fun time. So, first of all, we had no weapons at the air bases, so we couldn't load up with the R3Ss and R3Rs. So we had to improvise. Um, and one of you will notice that you were actually shot down by an air-to-ground missile, known as the Grom. <laughs> <laughs> because we literally had to fucking guess what we were doing, because we had no idea. So we thought, I know, I'll take these weird-looking mini-Groms, see if they work. And then the others took Groms. I think they got one kill, because it can't turn very quickly at the end of the day. Um, so I think it got one kill and everything else missed. Um, I managed to get mine to work, and I'd fired two off, but they hit them, each other right in front of Francis, and he got splash damage, but it didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was just a complete and utter nightmare for the rest of them, really. Wow. Anyone else got anything to add? The, aside from the part of me fox pouring into you. Yeah, but I liked it because you rear-ended me, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you love it. I'm watching the fight at timestamp 43.56. The reds are just going, dick, 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 you know, like proper lagging about, firing grunts oh, yeah, at everyone. Yeah. It's like, wow. You guys suck. It was fun, though, because we couldn't do anything that we planned to do, so it was just mm. massive free-for-all, and I have to say, it was quite a good fun. All I right. think Penguin got a kill. I know you love, love a good free-for-all. Right, well, <laughs> what an interesting mission. I thought that was uh, for our side. I couldn't make that any better. I think that's brilliant. Thanks for RAF, guys, and all the work that everyone's gone into, it, as usual. Anything to add before we sign off, or I sign off? 
just for interest's sake, we were actually flying the wrong version of the mission. We were flying version 17, not version 18. I don't know how that happened, but oh, that's why... that was completely my mistake. Sorry, yeah. I must have linked the wrong Andy. one. Yeah. Oh, well, well, welcome to mission design, guys. If you don't cock up, you're not human. Well done, and um, we're doing this every other week now because it's, it takes a lot of work for the boys. We'll be doing something else, a generic mission uh, next Monday. I'll see you later.